<laughs> Hello, YouTube. So, I just had <laughs> a very interesting experience. Um, a very interesting, annoying experience. So, a couple of days ago, I received a PM from a user whose display name is Circe N N A. Not sure how to pronounce that. A N E A. Annie? Circe? Anyway. Link to that user's profile will be in the description. And here is a screenshot of the PM he sent me. So, that seems like a pretty, pretty cordial, pretty standard message. It seems like somebody who just wants to have an honest discussion, right? Um, this was a farce. This was um, a cover-up because, because the email address included in that PM that he sent me, which is um, manhood101 at gmail.com. <laughs> when I began corresponding with the, the person who runs that email address, they left a link to their website which is called um, manhood101.com. This guy fancies himself a professor on manhood and an authority on what masculinity and manhood are. So here's a screenshot of the email conversation that I had with him. So even upon that email correspondence, he seemed like a pretty civil person um, who is coming to me with no biases, right? Who just wants my views, objectively, right? Well, I decided to do a little research into what exactly Manhood Academy is because he would sign off all of his emails as Manhood Academy and that and that sign off that signature is linked and it links to his website which is manhood101.com and so before I decided to to do an interview with with the person who runs this website. I, I, of course, decided it would be wise to actually um, do a little digging around the website. Well, I didn't do enough. I did a very, a very cursory uh, investigation because on its face, and it seems like something that is objective, that is without bias. So the cursory glance I took was, I took a, a look at their homepage. It has a lot of text, but a lot of it's very vague. It just talks about how the ebook is the ebook is going to carefully illustrate the principles that govern all social interactions. These simple yet powerful laws provide the foundation for social competence. Understanding how these immutable laws affect your life will change the way you interact with others. Little did I know that basically means being a dick. Um, but because um, the interview uh, was set up in so, so hastily, because um, because of the ava the availability of, of me and and the guy who runs this website, I didn't have as much time as I wanted before the interview to do a little digging. I guess I should have asked for more time. But um, I was just excited because I thought I'd be able to you know share my views and and not be judged. Um, anyhow, I uh, took a cursory glance of the homepage and just basically came to the conclusion that I have no idea what this website is really supposed to do other than act as an authority for what, you know, the, the, the operator thinks is the best social interaction. 
um, and without providing any credentials or qualifications. Um, and then I also uh, clicked on news. It says, please note we have moved the location for all of our news section. So it links you to somewhere else for news. So upon a cursory glance of the news page, you see that there are references to debates that this so-called professor has um, has participated in with with the academy's critics. Um, so you see how he's already othered anyone who challenges his ideas. They are automatically, you know, critics. One of the flyers on this news page that basically gives you an idea of what these debates entail is this. Feelings can get hurt. Bring extra Kleenex. With a picture of a child crying and a pacifier. <laughs> Manhood Academy debates. They're not for everyone. So. <laughs> and then there's an entire, there's a link to a blog that blames women for the Newtown, Connecticut shooting. <laughs> and, and the Aurora movie theater shooting. There's a link on this news page that, that blames when the mothers of the shooters for the shootings. <laughs> so it's apparent that there's an initial facade of objectivity, of compassion, of wanting to help men. <laughs> and and then you start digging and you find, you know, just as as with any underhanded radical ideology, you find the crazy buried under the things that sound relatively reasonable even if they're vague it's a pattern I, I swear to god I swear to god so I sent another email to Manhood Academy basically saying you told me this was gonna be an interview not a debate and he said yes well with debates we have moderators um, I'm just trying to interview you now But it wasn't an interview because, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a good interview because it devolved. Because his questions were so antagonistic. Because he had a biased view of me because he, he already knew that I was a feminist. He found me on YouTube. He saw that I identify as a feminist. He doesn't care what kind of feminist I am. He doesn't care what my actual ideas are. He just sees feminist and then he knows everything about me automatically, right? And when he does post the interview on his channel, I'll put it in the description box too, you can go you know, listen to it for yourself and see what you make of it, but every, every one of the interviews on his channel basically devolves into the same thing. Him resorting to calling people faggots and pussies and calling them stupid when he can't answer their questions, when he can't honestly answer their criticisms. I was basically done with this guy when he claimed he was an expert on manhood, and I said, okay, what are your qualifications? And he said, oh, I talk to men from all around the world, blah blah blah, all this anecdotal bullshit. And then I said, okay, so, so your definition of an expert is somebody who just who doesn't conduct peer review research and then he continued to try and redefine what peer review research is it, it was a mess but basically it, it got to the point where he outright stated he finally outright admitted that he thinks women women are stupid hi Timmy he thinks women are inferior to men in, in every possible way <laughs> Um, and when I got to that point, I knew we were done. Um, but I was so fascinated with how warped this guy 
this guy's thinking was that I, I just kept laughing in disbelief and egging him on. <laughs> And I kept asking him questions that he just kept deflecting, and uh, it was a disaster. Um, but of course, you'll see all that for yourself once I link the debate. Anyway, I just want to bring this guy to the surface, if, if he hasn't already been brought to the surface. I just think it's interesting that even a voice for men thinks that he's, like, <laughs> retarded. <laughs> A voice for men. A voice for men. The people who think Mad Shangy is, you know, an advocate for for fairness and equality. Those guys, they, they they're calling him crazy, so <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted everyone to uh, be aware that if you get a message from Cersei Annie, that's not his, that's not the channel he uses to post the interviews, the, the pathetic excuses for interviews that he conducts. The YouTube channel he uses to publish these is, um, 101 Principles, so 101 Principles, because it's related to Manhood 101. He'll never PM you with the account that he actually publishes these debates on. He will PM you on a separate account that has no content. It just has a made-up name. Because he knows if he PMs you using the account that actually has all of the videos he publishes of the debates and the interviews and all the sexist bullshit, you're going to see right through it. So just be aware that if if you get if you get a PM from a guy who asks you to respond via email to manhood101 at gmail.com just know that that's the guy and um, you're gonna be wasting your time you're gonna be wasting your time because he he's not open-minded and he already thinks that women are inferior and he, and he claims that academia is not credible and his academy is the credible one because academia allows women to participate and his academy is, you know, a school for boys, a charm school, a charm school for boys. And... And his charm school for boys is superior and it is the only credible institution because it does not allow those women folk and those those creatures with vaginas and 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 breasts. <laughs> so basically he is a delusional narcissist and he's a cult leader and avoid him at all costs. Why is he a cult leader? Well, let's see. He refers to himself as the professor. During the debate, he referred to himself as an educator, and he is the professor, the, the sole professor. He is the professor of this, his academy, his charm school for boys. <laughs> I know. I know. And being the sole professor of this charm school for boys, Manhood Academy, how very prestigious. <laughs> being the sole professor of this academy, he makes himself, he fancies himself, and makes himself into a guru for manhood. Because he is an authority on manhood, right? During the debate, he referred to himself as an educator. I asked him, what are your qualifications? What are your credentials? What makes you an expert on manhood? The answer he provided me with is that he talks to men from all over the world. 
and they've experienced this, and they've experienced that, and they've experienced... You know. And he, he sees this as as his his own little social experiment. And I asked him and I asked him, Okay, so this is this is your research. He apparently thinks so. And I said, Okay, so so where can I view your data? Where where can I access your publications? Um, where were you educated? Where did you go to school? And then he started going into why you know, oh, there are so many men who never received formal education who were great minds and great thinkers and blah blah blah. And I'm like, ah. and so when I asked him, what is your standard for the difference between an expert and a quack, a charlatan, a fake, a fraud, a phony, expert or phony? What's the standard? He just kept going back to how he'd spoken to men from all over the world and that makes him an expert on men. Here's the thing, honey. I don't get to claim that I am the sole authority on what it means to be a woman because I've talked to women from all over the world. I have. I've spoken to women from every continent. Isn't the internet great? That doesn't make me an expert on womanhood. He never defined manhood, and he never explained what makes him an expert rather than just a delusional quack. And this this cult leader mentality of 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 putting yourself up on a pedestal as the guru and you have your your students all of your little children that that's what really caught my attention is he views himself as an educator for all of these troubled men and they're all lost little children he he views anyone e even the people he claims to want to help who are grown ass men? He, he he views everyone who isn't him as as a child that needs to learn their place. It's it's narcissistic and and that's how you get cult leaders. So don't don't give this guy any validation <laughs> because no matter what you say, he's always gonna be right. And, you know, there were a few times during the debate where he couldn't answer my question. And when I asked him, that doesn't answer my question, he just says, yes, it does. And I, he just insists that it does. <laughs> so, he'll never be wrong. He's, he's lost. Fallen off the turnip cart permanently. And... And engaging with him wouldn't even be productive if your goal in attempting to debate him were to sway people who are on the fence. Because he he's not a good debater, he's not a good interviewer. He doesn't he, he he's not simple. He's not productive th with the way that he engages with people. He's not productive in the way he in the way he chooses to disagree with people. And so it's really hard to talk to somebody who won't listen to you. If you want to see what I'm talking about exactly, go to his channel. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because it's the same old horse shit, if not worse than a voice for men. At least he eventually becomes honest. He's deceitful at first, but he eventually, you know, gives up the farce. A voice for men will never give up the farce. But it's still a farce. So, I don't know which is worse. Shit. Alright. Anyhow. Judge for yourself. Links are below. Don't tangle with this dude. He's a waste of time.